Hey guys, it's Super, and welcome to Python tutorial number 21. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the I've, uh, sorry, not I've, uh, the next or the last uh, five function, uh, five methods. Although there are more than five, but some of them do pretty much the same thing, so I've just cut them into one. Uh, but yeah, the next five methods um, that I think are important, again, like I said last tutorial, I will probably have either a whole list or a link to a list of them uh, of all the string methods, but I'm just covering the one that I think, the ones that I think stand out the most. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and make that string again. We'll call it my string and have it be hello world. Okay. So the first one we're going to look at is the split method. Now, actually, this probably isn't the best string to demonstrate this with. But um, the split method uh, splits a string into a um, into a list uh, based on uh, a certain character. Okay, so uh, by default the character is a space, but you can specify that. You can see here it will be the sep um, sep uh, argument. You would supply a sep argument as a single character and it would split by that character. Let's look, go and look at it as default, just with a, a space as a split character. And we should get two, yep, hello and walled, because it's split with the space. Uh, a better one is probably, like, say we have a list 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Uh, and then we say dot split by a plus character and run that and it splits all the numbers uh, into separate uh, separate elements because it searches the whole string and every time it finds a plus it ends that element of the list and starts a new one two alt plus all the way through nine alt plus end then one zero that's the end of the string and this, that's the end of the original string and this element okay um, so yeah that's the split function and also you saw there saw it a bit ago there was a max split uh, argument which basically means the max number of splits it will do so say I give it five max splits it splits one through five and then it stops splitting and has the rest as just one element okay uh, so the next one we have is the join function, which is basically the opposite of the split function. If we have, uh, if I take this list and I say this dot join, um, I think this is right. Let me see. I think I'm doing it the right way. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay, sorry. I shouldn't have done that with a list. Uh, let's say we'll take uh, this. Let's try this string. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll say dot join plus. Again, I hope no. Okay, I did that the wrong way. Wrong, wrong way round. Sorry. Uh, so we'll do plus dot join. Uh, the way you have to do this is kind of weird. You would think that you put the string you want to join with as the uh, thing you're using the join method on, but no, actually you supply it as the parameter. And the thing you use the join method on is the thing you want to use as the separator of the new string. <coughs> so basically if I run this, and actually I shouldn't have had uh, spaces in there, should I? I don't know. No, I, no, I shouldn't have actually because it separates each, uh, every character, so actually let's just do that again uh, one, two, three, oops ten well let's just go up to nine because it doesn't make sense uh, otherwise so then, oops okay so we have plus dot join and there we go now we have uh, each character has uh, this string in between it. So you, this string can basically be anything. Uh, if you had hello, there'd be hello between everything, uh, between each character. Okay, so that's the join method. Uh, probably didn't explain it superbly. 
but anyways. Uh, the next method we have is much easier. It's uh, the lower method. Now, if we have something like this, whoops. Oh, and by the way, these are editing in place. So, um, the split one is as well. By in place, I mean, sorry, these aren't editing in place. Uh, by that, I mean it doesn't edit the original version, it just returns a value. So, if you want to change the uh, variable value, uh, if you were using the join or split method on a variable, then you'd have to say the variable equals whatever dot split or whatever dot join. Okay. Anyways, if we have hello world dot lower, it just turns everything lowercase. And if we had my string dot upper, this is the next method, it would turn everything uppercase. And the final one is the if we do my string dot title, it capitalizes every word in that string. Okay. Uh, based on spaces, so hello the wall. Oops, actually, let's take those caps out. The world dot title. It will ti it will capitalize the the as well. So maybe you don't want that, and uh, but uh, you kind of have to deal with it. So sorry about that. Uh, anyways, the next method we have is the replace method, uh, which takes, as we'll see in a second. It takes um, an old, the old string, the original string, which is, uh, or the substring, I should say, which is in the string, and then it takes a new substring to replace that old one with. So if we say, uh, actually, let's replace world with uh, acid, okay, and it will say hello acid now instead of hello world. And again, it had that optional argument uh, count, which would only replace a certain number. So say we had hello world world dot replace, and now replace world with a sib. Okay, it will replace both those worlds. But if I did the same thing, but passed it the third argument as uh, one, it would only replace the first one. Okay. Uh, the next one we have is the strip uh, method. Now, say we've got a string like uh, this. Uh, there we go. Uh, like this. And um, we want to take out all the spaces or whatever which are on the uh, edges of the string in the middle. So, uh, on the right side and on the left side, but we don't want to affect the actual string at hand. We can use the strip method. Okay, uh, so, and if we run this, we can see it takes out all the spaces in between, okay, but it doesn't take it, sorry, it takes out all the spaces on the outside, but it doesn't take the ones on the inside, okay. Uh, now, actually, I haven't done my my research on this one but there was an optional argument there as well. Let's try seeing if we can do something like this. Characters, it takes a list of characters, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll just supply it with an exclamation mark. And there we go. Okay, it did do it uh, like it was supposed to. Uh, it took out all the exclamation marks around, but it didn't take out those, those spaces because we, we only told it to take out an exclamation mark. Let's try giving it a list. It might be just a list, or it might be um, might be a string, and it just manages to separate out the um, different characters itself. No, okay. Uh, let's try it like this. Yeah, okay. So uh, you don't supply a list. You just supply a single string that separates out every single character as a separate thing. And so there you can see there was spaces there and exclamation marks there and on this side as well and we supplied it with an exclamation mark and a space and it split those two as separate things to strip uh, to strip and it took out both the spaces on the outside and the exclamation marks on the outside okay and the final thing we have is our uh, swap case so if we said my string dot swap uh, oops, swap case and ran that it just swaps uh, all the cases so let's take something like this. This is a better example because it has both cases. 
And now the first uh, letters of each word are lowercase and the rest are uppercase, okay? So uh, those are all the methods, the string methods, I think we need to cover explicitly. Uh, like I said, I'll probably have a link or a list of all the other one, of all the other ones, excuse me. Uh, and anyways, for now, that's over and out for me, guys.